Oh, now how do you recover your video? You are going to need uh, the accelerated video card in your computer. Um, I have the NVIDIA card in mine. Um, if you don't have an Excel video card, your video is going to be choppy. Um, the final video is going to be choppy and you're not going to have smooth video. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is just to make sure you're in using the accelerated video card. Uh, I used graphic card status uh, from gfx.io. Download and install that. And then I've already switched to discrete mode, which is the, um, the accelerated video card. Um, you'll also want to make sure you've installed the driver and such um, for any of that to even work. Um, for example, uh, mine's right here. This is for CUDA. Actually, no. This is this is actually I use that for. Um, that's for my Premiere Pro stuff. Um, you probably don't need that for this, um, but you will use the uh, GFX card status, and you are going to forcibly switch your card into your computer in discrete mode so that it is using your accelerated video card. Um, that is, that's the way you're going to have enough performance here so you can actually play the video back and record it and get all the frames and so it doesn't look choppy. Um, if, Like I say, you still will be able to recover your video but you're going to lose some of the uh, frame rate. Uh, it appears at least I did attempt this in the integrated using the integrated video card and it wasn't as good. So you're going to use GFX hard status to switch it to discrete mode to use your accelerated video card. Then you need to install Soundflower. Again, you can just go to Google and type soundflower.com and you're going to find a link to Cycling74. Uh, it's right under Products and Soundflower. Go ahead and install that. Once that's installed, it'll ask you to restart your computer. What Soundflower allows me to do is take the output that you normally would hear from your speakers and direct it right into input into QuickTime so that I get a nice clean audio recording. So I go to System Preferences, Sound, and you're going to see Soundflower here because I've already installed it. And instead of the sound going through my speakers, I'm going to pick Soundflower 2 channel. So it's no longer going to play sound through my speakers, it's going to play it to Soundflower. So now we would go to QuickTime and I can show you how that looks. I'm going to say a new audio recording because I'm already doing a screen recording, so I can't do that. So here's an audio recording. Notice as I'm, uh, uh, I had to reset it to Soundflower, but notice when it's at built-in speakers, you're seeing it, it show as I speak here. Um, I switch this to Soundflower, and now you notice it's not doing anything. But if I play a video, the audio from the video is going right into here. So that's where a sound flower will come in to fix that. Now you notice the video is playing just fine, and that's because I'm using the accelerated video card to do this. There might be some frame rate drop, drop but it's, it's better than totally losing your video completely. So now here's the catch. Um, you are going to go to a video that got deleted worldwide. It's not one that was just blocked in a certain country. If it was blocked in a certain country, you could simply download it with any video downloading tool. Uh, you could view it simply by using a VPN that allowed you to spoof your IP from another country. Then you could then watch the video. But in a video like what I'm referring to, it was blocked worldwide. That's why I got struck for it. Um, uh, this is how you can recover it if you don't have the original anymore. It has to have been put in a playlist you can no longer access the video directly. So this will work unless YouTube changes it. And I don't know why they would bother to change it because you can only do this while you're logged into your account. So it's not like anyone else can see it and it would allow you to at least retrieve your video. Um, so we're gonna go into this playlist here. And when we're in this playlist, uh, you see here, let's close some of my windows. Close all these. We've got Cycling 74. we got all that. So when we're in the playlist here, uh, you'll notice that was just a duplicate. I actually up uploaded a video twice by mistake. So that's all that was. But if we go here, you're going to see this is episode 46. This is the color one. This is the one that was deleted. Now if I try to go right to it, as you can see, it doesn't, doesn't play. 
if I go to the video before it and skip to the end, skip past the ad, go to the end, you have to do this just specific way because watch what will happen is it'll go to the end and guess what still doesn't play however if you go to the video before it you have your screen recording recording and I'm going to pretend that this was a screen recording recording uh, but again I can't do that because I'm already doing that but I'll show you with just the audio you're going to see the final video done Oops, let me go here. I click on the right video here. So let's go here and let's pretend this is a screen recording. So I would say screen record. Um, I would make sure it was Soundflower. I would tell it to start recording. You can start before and then you can use your video set editing software to clip the beginning and ends and whatever. Um, but you, you basically, uh, or you can just wait and keep this up. So we're going to start the video. And we're going to go to the end. We are going to go full screen. And this is, like I say, you kind of have to start your video before because you, you've got to be able to see it. So you would start your video recording. It would tell you to you know hit the button to do the whole thing. And uh, I wasn't full screen first. Let me go back. I apologize. Go to the end. Bad. and go to the end full screen you've already got your audio recording I mean you already got it uh, your video recorder screen recorder started and as soon as it skips to the next video on my particular video here it jumps right to the middle there's my color run the video that they deleted and scroll all the way to the beginning And I'm now making a screen recorded video. Uh, you won't hear the audio because it's going, like I say, through Soundflower directly into the thing. Um, but yeah, I'm making the uh, uh, video now. Like I say, I'm just showing with audio recording, but you would get a full screen recording of this video with audio. Now I can stop it here. As soon as I kick out, it says, you know, copyright claim no longer available. But let's just show you what it sounds like. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to switch the audio back to the speakers. Um, now, of course, you're going to hear you're going to hear the uh, uh, what you're going to hear now is sound playing out of my speakers into the screen recording I'm making for you. So the sound quality is not going to be as good. But uh, what I'm actually hearing is really good, clear audio. I rewind the video and let's get to where I'm I'm Carrie D. English, winner of America's Next Top oh, Model. I have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, so I talked to my doctor about my... The point is, again, right now what you're hearing, because I did a screen recording that's using the microphone, you're hearing recorded audio coming out of the speakers getting recorded through the microphone. So what you're hearing is not great. But what I just recorded was crystal clear audio. So... That is how you can get your, your, your thing back. Your video had to be recorded in a playlist. You have to log into your account. You would then pull up QuickTime, do a screen recording, telling it to record the audio from uh, Soundflower, uh, which is capturing your audio and sending it directly to QuickTime so you have clear audio. Um, and before the video starts, you go full screen so that it will go into the, the video they took down. You rewind, you play your video. Once it's all captured, you can just load it into your favorite editing software and cut off the beginning and the ends where you were doing all the screen capturing and moving your mouse around. And there you go, you will have your restored video. That's how you recover it. The next section I'm gonna work on is, okay, I've got my video back, I screwed up, I realized I shouldn't have done that. Um, I shouldn't have 
thought that they would allow me to put it up even though it was just background noise. How can I use my video, but there's voices and conversation I want, regardless of the music playing in the background, I really want to save it, what do I do? So the next video, assuming I can make it work, is I found a procedure to remove music and keep the voices from an audio track. Now I have to try it and see if it works and I'll let you know uh, with a tutorial if it does. Um, but I will be using uh, uh, Audition from Premiere uh, if I can get it to work. So the next video is going to show you how you can remove the, which I didn't know at the time, but how you'll be able to remove music and keep all the voices of the people talking from your video. So then you can upload it and keep it and it won't get down dang dinged and removed from YouTube. So what I'm going to do now myself is record my video with the audio, restore it, and get all that done, and then I will show you the next video of how to remove the music that gave me all this problem to begin with.